Last day in the Philippines, let's go! Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. Whew, I didn't vlog at all yesterday, which was Thursday, and I really should have because I did all of the usual things in the morning, went to the mall, went to go buy things for back home, and I wasn't expecting for it to be like super exciting, but yesterday I went into the office and six or seven new people that I think they chose yesterday as the day to come in came to the office and we hung out and it also so happened to be uh, the Halloween party at the office so we got to see all of the festivities there. I didn't vlog but I'm gonna post some insta stories ar along here. Essentially there was an office party that had food, Filipino hot dog, nachos, Krispy Kreme donuts, lumpia from Max's, spaghetti from Jollibee's. It was, it was very festive and then all of the um, workers who work in the co-working space brought their kids so there was a lot of like fun games for them it was fun and then afterwards I was thinking about going back to the actually back to Blackbird which I'm really sad I didn't go for the last day because I've been going every single day this week um, but I ended up going out to Burgos Circle in BGC with four of my co-workers uh, four three there were four of us three of my coworkers, uh, Neil, John, and Shai, and we just bought a bottle of Tanqueray Gin, Korean fried chicken, and just drank. Um, but that being said, I was a little bit wary because I wanted to be home by 12.30. I didn't get home until 2 a.m. this morning, so I'm a little tired. I do have some coffee back there in my room, but I am in the process of getting ready to go out because I already had a planned facial at Luminous, Earlier in the vlog series, I went to the BGC location, but I'm actually going to the podium location in Pasig, Ortigas, and my cousins are going to meet me there, John and Diane. It'll be the last day, few moments before I see them, but I'm going to see them and then also run some errands there. I kind of want to go to Mega Mall, but later on tonight, I have dinner at a place that I have been wanting to go to for at least four to five years. It is this place called Toyo Eatery. They do have a tasting menu, and the menu looks super, I don't know, it looks very refined. Nothing that I've seen around in uh, Manila anywhere. So I got a reservation back in August uh, for two people and my friend Say is going to be coming along with me. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I am a travel vlogger currently here in the Philippines, ending my month-long time here doing a travel vlog series called Rome Around the World where I take you around the world with me, Jerome. So please consider subscribing. This is a long intro. I will see you guys in Podium. Okay, just got here to Podium Mall. I actually didn't realize how many floors there was here, but um, they actually guard the escalator up until like five minutes before opening time at 10. So heading over to the fourth floor, because I think that's where Luminous is. So here in Luminous, um, consulted with the doctor here, and because I was in the other location, I had mentioned like some of the things that we had talked about in BGC Luminous. One of them was like because I went to Boracay with ex um, a lot of sun exposure, that lasering is a little bit out of the question right now. So we're just gonna do a simple facial, and then because they found out that I'm traveling back to the U.S. tomorrow, um, might be doing some sort of kind of um, cocktail of antioxidants, collagen, into my body just to help me prepare for traveling tomorrow. A lot of people do this cocktail for when they travel, so I'm gonna do the procedure. Okay, just got done with my facial. Everything was so good. Um, the IV push for wellness was really, really nice. It had this kind of cooling sensation, but it has vitamin. <laughs> Gonna meet up with my. <laughs> okay, so I met up with my cousin. <laughs> Y'all, it has been a day. First, my camera died. Long story short, we went to Mega Mall, Podium. Uh, went to Vikings for buffet and had a hard time finding a grab to get back to the hotel so that I can change and then go here where I'm at right now for 
Toyo Eatery. Um, we ended up having to just stop a taxi cab, tell him that I would pay him a lot more than usual to get me to the hotel, but midway through the actual uh, time it took to get to the hotel, it didn't make sense for me to like try to hail another cab, so I told him I would pay him uh, 1,000 Philippine peso, which is about like less than 20 US dollars, just to wait for me for five minutes and to take me over to um, Toyo Eatery. I'm here, by the skin of my teeth, it's 8.01, it reservations at 8, but I'm really excited because I've been wanting so badly to come to this restaurant, tasting menu, about 60, 65 US dollar, and let's go inside. I'm meeting up with Say. I think she's having a, also a hard time to get a taxi or grab been insane Friday night raining I mean it stopped raining but it was raining earlier we need a drink Just got our first food. Also, I'm here with Say. Hey. <laughs> um, the first few things that we're getting is like a rice shomai and then a fish dish that you're supposed to eat by hand. And they gave us this like really cute, moist, kind of bougie-looking towel to wipe our hands afterwards. So we're gonna eat that and enjoy. Shredded something on the top, crunchy below. Mm. This is, I forgot what drink this is, but it has gin, grapefruit, passion fruit, and egg white. And a little sphere ice cube, or ice sphere. Mm. It's good. So for this dish, um, they brought three bowls out. We have two kilawin, uh, cooked in vinegar, mm -hmm. and then just like this this one for display. <laughs> and what did you say? Um, how do you eat this? <laughs> you don't. You don't. <laughs> and I'm like, to the waiter, I'm like, you shouldn't have told her that. It would have been good for the vlog. <laughs> So, um, we're full. <laughs> Super. The waiter comes by and was like, are you, you guys good? And says like, what did you say? I said, I'm nearing food coma. I'm like, I'm in food coma right now. <laughs> You're not even drinking. Oh my gosh. 
And then we were told that there are five more uh, sets of sweets. So we're just like... I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I think we had two different reactions. I was exci I'm excited for the sweets. I have a sweet tooth, so bring it on. <laughs> Okay, just got back to the hotel room. So much fun would say. I feel like the past couple vlogs here in Manila, I have had such a great time reconnecting with her. It's been so long since we've seen each other, but it's also as though, though that no time has passed. The food at Toyo was really well curated and thoughtful. A lot of the ingredients, a lot of the stories behind each dish was based and centered around a lot of regions in the Philippines. For example, there was um, aspects from Baguio, there was aspects from uh, Ilocosur, there was uh, aspects from uh, Davao. Uh, there was just a lot of history and meaning behind every dish and I really appreciated it. Funny enough, I almost left without paying. Um, there's a story behind it because they use their reservation system uh, through talk and I'm used to paying um, actual like whenever I do tasting menus with talk you pay for the actual reservation and how much the dinner is worth and for some reason in the back of my head I thought I had paid for the entire tasting menu times two already so like we're taking pictures we're going up to like the 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 kitchen we're doing all of these things and then we start walking out and then the guy that's been taking care of us all night there were several of them they were like oh sir um did you pay and then in my head i thought i already did so i'm like oh i already did but um i ended up getting something extra which was a cocktail and Earlier, like right before we left, before we got stopped, I was like, oh, I think I owe you guys for the cocktail. And then they were like, oh, no, don't worry. And then um, I was a little bit confused with that. So when they thought I had needed to pay, I thought they were talking about me paying for the cocktail. But in actuality, I just needed to pay for the whole thing, which was so awkward. And I was like apologizing profusely because I would never walk out on a bill ever. I think that's just unacceptable because those dishes, that time, the service, you're paying for that and if you don't pay for it it it's it's just not good but glad we got it all sorted out um, I ended up taking a grab back to the hotel I need to go pack I have a flight tomorrow in the afternoon at 12:40, so I might pack like 50% of it tonight and then wake up a little bit early ish and pack the rest. Luckily, I don't need to like arrange any things, like fold any clothes, make sure that, you know, things are situated because it's I'm going home. One month here in the Philippines, I'm just going to be like throwing stuff in bags. The only thing that I'm going to really be paying attention to is how much the bag weighs. They, they should be 50 pounds per bag at the most and if all of my breakable items are secure like my gourmet dying those need to be good so i will see you guys tomorrow when i go home and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow morning wow this is so crazy after one month it's time to go home so i already packed all of my stuff weighed it have my carry-on bag and it's just going to be a travel vlog, or this portion is going to be me on the way home. It's about a 20 minute ride from here, from here in Makati to Ninoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 1. I'm going to hopefully get into a lounge. I see that there are two in priority pass that I'm able to go to. And then fly out. I arrive in Taipei at around 2 p.m. I have an eight hour layover, which isn't the, the best. I, in retrospect, I wish I would have had it at least like four, so at least I have a little bit of time to sit, walk around, but eight seems just a little bit on the bigger side. I have had longer before, like 12 or 24, but eight just feels like I can't leave. So anyways, and then another 10 and a half hour flight to Seattle. Follow me along. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today, but uh, you're coming with me.
Okay, so a little bit of an update. It's now almost five. I've been walking around for about an hour. Boarding isn't until 11.03. Oh, five. 11.05. So I have six more hours to go. I'm looking for a Moss Burger actually, so I'm not sure if they actually have it. And I ended up going shopping in duty free. Got a couple of skincare products from Jerlique, uh, Australian skincare brand. And now I'm gonna be looking for. I'm gonna try and stay up for most of the time here, and maybe try to sleep for like a couple hours on the flight. And we'll see. An hour and a half later, ended up getting some food. Uh, this is made to order. It's a big place pork over rice. It smells so good. And then the buffet. I got a mixture of bimbo noodles, um, sweet, sweet chili chicken, sweet fish. Like broccoli gratin, pork chop, steam bun. I'm gonna eat. I do have a shower scheduled at around 10 o'clock. It is about one hour and five minutes before it is time to board, and I am here in the bathroom or the shower room. They assured me that it has been cleaned, and walking in, I don't know if you can hear it, but the heater is on. It feels so nice. Um, so I'm gonna go take a quick shower, but let me do a quick tour of the shower here at the Oriental Lounge. So this is the overview. There is a toilet right over there, a sink, and a vanity area. The vanity area already has um, some amenities here. This looks like a shower cap, razor, comb, toothbrush, and a lotion, a towel for myself to use slippers down below and then a hair dryer and then I already have my items that include my cleansers my moisturizers my toner um, lip product deodorant all that stuff and then the shower is on the right so it's a pretty big space there's a lot of room to just move around but it looks like there's a dispenser up above for shampoo conditioner and body wash and a nice hook so really excited to be doing this right before a 11 hour flight i need to get relaxed for this next flight i feel like today has been kind of crazy i found out actually that a ton of oh, a ton of flights flights after the flight that i departed on um later on a bunch of flights in and out of Manila were canceled so I am super lucky to get out the time that I did otherwise I would have been stuck another day which have been another problem in itself because I was cutting it with the amount of days that I was in the Philippines for the um, type of visa that I was in max 30 days I was approaching that 30 day mark and ooh, that could have been close but I'm out ready to go home ready to shower so you guys literally cannot explain how good that was how much i needed that after a long travel day and it's not even halfway well i guess it's more than ha halfway given that i've been here for eight hours but okay going to do my skincare change and then figure out what's next maybe head to the gate i'm not sure After almost 24 hours of transit and travel, I'm finally here back home. It feels so good. I always say this every time I come back home, like the crisp cold air is just so nice to be coming back to it. But um, because the international arrivals area here at Seattle International Airport is fairly new, um, they're still working out the kinks. There's one thing that I kind of don't really like. They have this new like bridge. Uh, that is very tall that goes from one area where you get um, your plane gets dropped off but they have the middle of the bridge tall enough so that planes can go through it so it's quite the walk to get from where your plane taxis and stops to border patrol immigration baggage claim and it's just so belabored like the walk was so long aka also the bags getting the baggage claim so it, it just took a lot longer than usual when the old uh, international arrivals terminal was a thing so 
um, some feedback there. So maybe I'll see you guys back at home. I haven't seen my ha my room in almost about a month. Okay, home sweet home. Everything is fine. Made my bed before I left. Tried to keep things in tip-top shape, except I forgot that I had a boba here on my desk and there are flies infested all over it. A month. And I should have thrown it out. <sighs> Let me show you. Those things that are inside, those are flies. Also touched my Lysol right over there and... Gonna end the vlog for today. I am really, really hoping I get all of these vlogs. Italy, UK, both countryside and London and all of Philippines before Vlogmas starts. It is right now October 29. I hope I can do it throughout the month of November and then start out Vlogmas. So thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Um, I mean, it really does help my channel out and I'm more motivated to post when <laughs> there's more engagement and there's more like, you see more success in it. So it would help my channel. And I will see you guys on the next travel vlogs or Vlogmas actually. I'll see you guys in Vlogmas. Bye.